Apple launches the Mac Studio? Let's talk about it. All right, welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be kind of an unpolished video unlike my other ones. Just kidding, right? All mine are unpolished. Got another job and stuff. So if you kind of like my videos where I'm kind of all over the place, this is the place to be, right? Anyways, what I wanna do today is Mac or Apple just came out with a brand new Mac. They came out with some other stuff. They came out with obviously, I think in the iPad Air, some uh, new SE phone and some other things. But we're gonna talk about the new Mac Studio today. And I'm just gonna go through, so what is the best version of this to purchase for users like you and me? I think most people on my channel think like I do, at least maybe that's why they're watching me. I don't, I can't spend five or six grand on a system or a machine, so is there a Mac Studio kind of in our price range? That's what we're gonna talk about. Which one do I recommend, and do I think it's a good deal when you compare it to kind of a laptop right now? I think it actually is, and there's only one version that might be a good deal. So let's talk about that as well. So I'm just gonna share my screen here, and this is gonna, again, be very unpolished, just because of the fact that I'm just doing it right after I watched it two seconds ago, and I wanted just to get a video out just to show people what this is all about. So, you know, bear with me. This is the way I am. Let's get into it. I'm gonna share my screen. <laughs> let's go. All right, so here's the new Mac Studio. You can see it on my screen. And what it basically is, if you take a quick peek at it, it's kind of a larger Mac Mini like this over here. It's a little bit taller, a little bit smaller. Go to my screen here again and we'll show you. So the, the thing about this that's great, it's gonna have a lot more power. And it's gonna go with that in a couple different upgraded chips and I'm gonna show you that in a second. But the Mac Studio has, you know, look at this. It has actually some ports in the front. It has these USB-C ports plus an SD card reader. You can see kind of it, and as we kind of click around, let me go ahead and just move this around. You know, obviously it's on the side, it's nothing, but on the back, you can see it's got some tons of ports, which I'll get into in a second there. It's got an Ethernet jack, I believe that's 10 gigabits per second or up to, and then it's got a whole bunch of other ports, including HDMI and a headphone jack and a power plug. You can see it there. So this starts from $19.99, and we're gonna get into why that pricing is important in a second. Um, anyways, as I kind of scroll down this, bear with me, I'm doing this in real time. The one thing that came out of this is it's coming, you know, the base model comes with the M1 Max chip, so it's gonna be very fast at the base model for $19.99. And the other one that they just introduced was the M1 Ultra, which is crazy. It's gonna have two M1 Max chips in it. And that's the one I think that nobody on this channel or nobody really in their right mind would be able to afford. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. I don't wanna spend as much on a car, although cars are crazy now, but I, I don't wanna spend five or six grand on a computer. But this M1 Max is pretty Pretty compelling and I'll show you why so it's going to be 10 core up to 10 cores uh, well 10 core CPU up to 32 core GPU this is for the, the the max version over here 64 gigabytes unified memory up to that as well so let's just scroll down I mean I just want to show you they, they keep saying it's 2.5 times faster than this you know 3.4 times faster but that's if you get the the, the souped up version of it so um, you know we just don't know yet I mean it's obviously we're going to take and put it against each other with benchmarks and stuff like that. That's not the part I really wanted to show people about. I want to kind of get down here. Now, the interesting thing of this is you can see it. Most of this case, the, the upgraded case up here is, is fans. You can see the cooling that they had to implement in this system. So the, the, you know, obviously the performance here is really important. So this is going to be for video editors, maybe YouTube people at that $19.99 price range. Um, and obviously it's a little bit expensive because you gotta buy your own monitor, but Apple did come out with another monitor, which I'll show you in a second as well. So if you kind of scroll down though, let's keep going here. I wanna get to the ports here, but anyways, you can get another idea how it cools itself here. Some cool pictures on here as well. But you know, here's the board down here and the cooling's all up here. It takes up like 60% of the actual cases, the cooling. So it's not gonna probably have any problems. The connections are really cool though. You can see here, here's the front of it. It says two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports and then one SDXC card. And on the back there, we got four Thunderbolt 4 ports. If I can get it there. Well, it's going to scroll up there. One 10 gigabit Ethernet, two USB A's, one HDMI, one 3.5 millimeter jack, and then the headphone jack. So you can see it there. And it's, you know, obviously this is what it looks like next to a monitor. And this is the new monitor that Apple came out with. So we'll get into what the actual model is that you should buy. So before we do that, though, let's go over here and, well, no, actually, let's do it. Right, let's do that right now, actually. So. If you look at this, there's two different versions I came out with. The one on the left is the one I recommend for people. Probably that's going to be a good deal. I'll explain that in a second. That starts at $19.99. This other one over here that has that Ultra chip, which is basically two M1 Maxes, 
starts at about four grand basically. So we're gonna have, I mean, that's a little steep for me, but if you go with this 1999, you get a lot of stuff for the cost. So let's, let's look over here. So you get basically 10 core CPU, 24 core GPU, which is huge. I mean, like the air is only eight core GPU, 24, three times like the, you know, the, the air. So you get that included for that base price. You also get 32 um, gigabytes of RAM. That's the base, it's not 16, it's 32. Think about that for a second. If you add that price, which I'm gonna show you to a laptop, you get up there. So this is gonna be a pretty good deal. And then down here, you also start with a 512 gigabyte storage SSD. So you get that included as well. And, uh, and that's about it. But basically 1999 for that. So, but you're getting you know 32 gigs of RAM and you're getting that uh, 24 core GPU on that. So that's not bad, right? And I'm gonna show you why that's not bad in a second. If we go to this ultra chip over here though, that's the one that has the two maxes on it. You know, obviously this gets expensive really quickly. That's um, about four grand there. So four grand, I guess, some people can stomach that I couldn't. But I mean, once you start doing things like adding storage or if you wanna, you know, but again, it does come with 64 gigabytes right off the bat, so not many people are gonna upgrade that. And you probably don't need to go more than 40 core uh, GPU as well. I mean, if you wanna go up to 64, you add a thousand bucks. So. It's not a bad deal when you're considering if you can actually, you know, if you're if you're in the business of making videos and you get your money back from these computers, it may not be a bad bad option there. Um, but you can see the storage actually, you know, go from one. It comes with a full terabyte to begin with. There's nothing smaller, and then two terabytes is another 400 bucks. So long story short, that's not the one I wanted to show you though. So if we look at this other model over here, which is basically the 1999, you can see it right there. That's actually a pretty good price. Why is that a good price? Let's go over and take a look right here. So let's just say you wanted to get a 14 inch MacBook Pro that just came out a couple months ago, right? And you were looking at basically the base model, but well actually not the base model, let's go back. You were looking at a model that, and I'll share my screen here, that had comparable specs to that 1999 Mac Studio. So I basically spec that out. Uh, you would need to go with a 10 core CPU here, 24 core GPU, which I selected. So that's basically $200 more. 32 gigs of RAM up from the 16, that's another $400 increase there. And then you know, I can't go to 512, but I can go to one terabyte. So that's, the storage is a little bit off here. But long story short, these are very similar specs to that 1999 machine. And look at the price of the laptop. It's 3,099 bucks, so 3,100. So it's about $1,100 cheaper than that laptop. Of course, with the laptop, you get the screen um, and you get 512 more gigabytes of, of, of disk space as well. But it's still 1,100 bucks. So if you have a monitor that's already 4K, and uh, you don't need to buy one, or even if you did need to buy one for maybe 400 bucks, it's still gonna be maybe six, $700 cheaper to go with the actual Mac Studio over a laptop. But again, you don't get the portability of the laptop, which is a huge thing, and that's why most people want a laptop, uh, you know, for sure. So finally, you know, the last thing I was interested in this event was basically, let's go ahead and click on it. I can get to it, it's right here, it's the Apple display. So Apple did come out with a secondary display and instead of it being another $5,000 display, it's only 1,500 <laughs> and that comes in, if you want the upgraded stand, it's a lot more. Um, so it's a little crazy still. So what they did is they came out with a studio display here, it's only 27 inches. You know, the Pro uh, Display XDR, which was the $5,000 monitor, that was 32 inches at 6K. This new monitor is 27 inches at 5K, you can see it there. So if I go ahead and we click on that, it's $1,599, so $1,600. It's expensive. You can go with either standard glass or you can get nano textured glass, which adds $200 or $300. And then you get these weird options for stands, which I'm not sure why it's not letting me select any. Maybe they're sold out right now or something. Earlier it was letting me select them. But I think if you wanted like a tilt and height adjustable stand, you know, it's like $19.99, so it's another $400. So a lot of this stuff makes no sense to me. But I mean, $15.99, I wish they would make a monitor for around 700 bucks or something. I would probably pick it up just because of the quality of these things. I mean, I guess, what is it, $15.99, if you add like a M1 Mac Mini, you're gonna be in the price of maybe, you know, kind of like an iMac or something around that $2,000, $2,100 price. But you're not gonna be getting this Mac Studio, that's for sure. If you add this to the Mac Studio, you're, at, you're already 35, 3,600 bucks plus tax, you know, four grand. So. I don't think that's gonna go well with this. But again, people that are looking for this Mac Studio, you know, the two different models I showed you here, I think it's this one over here, the sweet spot at $19.99. Uh, maybe a little bit more extra if you wanna add a little extra space. I don't think you need to ever add any more CPU or GPU to that. I don't think you need to add um, any more RAM. I think it's just maybe the storage you might think about adding. If you even needed that, you can use external as well. So that's my take on the whole event. I just wanted to get a video out there fairly quickly. 
it's something that I guess we were all waiting for, you know, these new MacBooks to come out, maybe a MacBook Air or, you know, a 13-inch different MacBook and some other uh, iMac, actually. That's what I'm looking forward to is the iMac, right? I want the new iMac. But they came out with none of that. So you get the Mac Studio, which is kind of a cool idea, $19.99. I mean, again, I wish, I wish the base was about, if it was like $14.99, I would consider it. Again, I'm cheap. That's what my channel is all about. I mean, I have, you know, I have computers all around me, but I usually buy them, you know, the base model. I usually buy them a year behind or something. So I don't like spending all that premium money just to get something that, you know, I don't really need because I already have enough speed as it is. But at the end of the day, that's not a bad price for that unit. I showed you why because of the laptop. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm going to wrap up this video. And without further ado, we'll talk to you in a couple of days. Peace.